Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to learn about how to play against the Kalashnikov. But before we get into that, don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more great opening videos. So the Kalashnikov is very similar to the um, Sveshnikov, um, but what Black is trying to do is he's trying to play it like the Accelerated Dragon. He's going to confuse you and play e5 first, try to get up a move. Um, so here, what we want to do is we want to go knight b5, um, and if a6, we have this knight d6 idea. And here, king e7, obviously very bad, you can't castle, pieces are terrible. We get this amazing outpost square, which we don't even have to go to immediately. So here, take, queen takes, queen f6, queen d1, so that we can go knight c3, bishop e3, queen d2, castle queen side. So it's going to go something like this, and we're going to have a very, very nice position. This pawn is super weak. Um, these dark squares are weak, so bishop g5 at some point is going to be a strong threat. And very soon, we're going to play h4, g4, and have a super nice attack. Um, so there, we're going to be super happy if they play a6, but you probably won't see it that much. I mean, I think most people know it's not a very good line for black. So you're probably going to see d6. d6, we're going to go knight c3 to try to get it into basically a Sveshnikov. Um, so here, if a6, we go back, b5, we have to go knight d5, otherwise b4 is going to pick up a piece. So knight d5, um, now knight f6, bishop g5, we have a Sveshnikov like this. Um, and now if knight e7, I think a lot of grandmasters will play this variation just to kind of confuse you, because Sveshnikov is actually not that straightforward, straightforward to play. Um, so here, after knight e7, we want to go c4, and after knight d4, just bishop e3, threaten to take off that knight. And after take, play c takes, bishop e7, and now bishop d3, and the idea is we, we want to play f4 as fast as possible. So here, castle, castle, if they play f5, we just take here, take, and I'll knight c2. And now you're going to see these these light squares are kind of weak over here, so we're going to basically move our knight to b4 or d4. Let's say something like this, we can take here, and now we're going to go knight b4 to c6. And the light squares are going to be super strong for us. So that's what we're going to do if they play f5. Now if, we, if they play bishop d7, we play f4, bishop f6, and now we can take, take, and now go knight c2. And here we're going to have a very nice position after our knight reroutes back to the king side. Eventually we pick up this pawn, and we'll have some e5 pushes as well. So that's what we're going to do um, in these variations if they go knight e7. So now let's go back to before that. So here, instead of b5, you might see knight f6. Once again, Sveshnikov. Um, but if they do go bishop e6 instead of bishop e7 here, so here we can just do this, and we have exactly what we want. Now here, if they go bishop e6, you're going to see this common idea, knight c4. So here, now, if wherever, um, we can always take on f6, because here this d6 pawn is going to go. So here we would take, and if bishop e7, once again, we can take on f6, because bishop takes would also hang this pawn um, as well. So here, they're not going to want, the base they're going to be forced to get this double pawn, which is going to be pretty good for us. Something like this, and then we're just going to reroute our pieces. Now instead of that, if they want to go bishop e6, now we're going to go knight d5 straight and attack basically the c7 square. So if rook c8, bishop e3, um, a6 for example loses to bishop b6 here and knight check. And after here, we can play queen e2, a very, very, very strong move. Um, guarding this pawn and threatening the castle queen side, putting this rook on this very important d file. Um, so this would be great for us. And if knight f6, we can take, because once again, this d6 pawn will be weak. So he's forced to play pawn takes, and now we can go c4. We have a very nice position here where we, we can squeeze pretty easily. Um, so that's what we're going to do with bishop e6. Now lastly, if knight f6, we go bishop g5, a6, knight a3, and we basically have a position we've looked at from before. b5 will give us the Sveshnikov, and bishop e6, we're going to go knight c4 and have this d6 pawn idea once again. So if you were always tricked by the Kalashnikov, now this is how you want to play against it. Um, so basically you're going to get the Sveshnikov, or basically a better version um, with the right move order. Remember that knight c4 idea is very important to attack this d6 weakness. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out wealthchess.org for great lessons, puzzles, and videos, and hope you guys were entertained.